Hi, and welcome to the Healthy Cooking 101. Today I'm here with my sister, Diana, and my name is Sharon, and we shall be taking you through some healthy and delicious salads. So Diana, would you like to pray for us? Yes, please. Let's pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for another opportunity to be able to share some nutritious um, recipes, and I pray even as we begin that the Holy Spirit may guide and lead us. In Jesus' name I've prayed and believed. Amen. Amen. So, Dana, I think you should start us off. What do you have for us today? Today, we'll be making what I want to call a revamped salsa, mm -hmm. but with a basil dressing. And you'll see why I'm calling it a revamped salsa, because the ingredients are what you'll normally use in a salsa, or as we Kenyans like to call, kachumbari, right? Mm -hmm. So, and I'll introduce my ingredients today. We have avocado, mm -hmm. which is always bay in every ingredient. That means before any other. And we also have cucumber, we have tomatoes, we have white onions, you can also use red onions, whatever tickles your fancy. We have basil, which is for the dressing. We have milk, and this is plant-based milk. We have lime, and not lemons, and this is really good because it just lifts up the meal. Mm -hmm. And we have salt, again, which is our flavor balancer for ingredients. Mm -hmm. So before I mix everything up, because this is going to be really quick and fun and easy, I will start with the dressing. Mm -hmm. So Sharon, yeah, do you like basil? I love basil. I think many people just know Dania as our <laughs> only hub. We have so many other hubs that really revamp dishes. Exactly. I like basil because you can use it raw. Exactly. So, yeah. Because like now for the salad, we're going to use it raw. Um, I find it a way of also sneaking in some greens because I have a small child. So even for pasta mm -hmm. or spaghetti, when you're making it, you just blend it and then just add it in and it just transforms the dish and it also has a really, really good smell. Yeah, the fragrance is really good. Yeah. So I've put my basil, which is like half a cup. I've put like a quarter cup less of my plant-based milk and I'm using soy. And then I have lime here with me and um, probably put like two tablespoons to begin with as we taste. And then I'll put like two pinches of salt. One, two, not two big pinches, mm. yeah. So I will, as you can see, I put the ingredients upside down because I want the milk to be at the bottom to enable my blending to be easier. Mm. Great. So let's get blending. Do a quick stir mm -hmm. and take it back. Okay, and that's done. Could you pass me some kitchen towels, Sharon? Sure. I see my blender has a bit of a leak. Thank you. So I'll just remove that. Now wipe my blender where it has leaked. Great. So my dressing is ready. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it smells Sharon? really Yes, yeah, smell. that is a smell. Really anyway. good, yeah. And we'll begin to assemble our quick revamped mm -hmm. kachumbari with basil dressing. So I'll begin with my cucumbers, which is like maybe two, two cucumbers, and we've cut off the skins, and um, we've allowed them to be able to be in, as you can see, triangle shape. Yeah. You can do them in whatever shape you like. Desire. And then we've used... Um, tomatoes this is probably one and a half tomatoes or two again finely small diced because you want all your ingredients to look nice mm. we eat with our eyes oh sorry next we have our onions which is again our white onion salad onions which is really good and i'll mix this up fast salads are really good sean why do you like salads because they taste really nice. I feel like it's um, the best way to get the taste of something because it's raw. Yes. And also I find them very filling and it's just a natural taste. It's the one thing you can make without having to add any spices. Exactly. Yeah? And it's quick so, and easy. Yeah. I like salads because they keep you fuller for longer and they're mm. good for your waistline, ladies. <laughs> yeah, so please 
the more salad you have, yeah. the more, I mean, clearer skin. I'm adding avocado now, as you've seen. Um, I'll just put like, this is one avocado. So I'll mix that up. Don't worry about um, mashing it. It's, it's part of the whole of it. Yeah. yeah. We're not looking for cubed or it just binds everything else together. Also, something I think we need to mention there now. Yeah. Um, I've just remembered because of the basil. Mm -hmm. The reason we use um, lime is because it has a different taste from lemon. Yes. So many times, if you do want to substitute uh, lime for lemon or lemon for lime, just know that the taste won't be the same. Um, but lem lime and basil go really, really well. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I have enough avocado, so I'm yeah. going to put my dressing now. And I'll start with a little bit. And I'll mix that up. As I, you don't have to use the whole of it. You mm. just you put and then you mix and then you decide how much you have. Yeah. And if you want the dressing to last longer, you may want to add a little bit of oil. You can yes. put in vegetable oil, sesame oil, olive oil. Yeah. Just something so that it can be able to last longer in the fridge. Yeah. Um, it but also helps with meal prep, so exactly. that then you don't have to keep on doing dressings every time you're doing a salad. Yeah. But today ours is oil free, right? Yes. Could I have a kitchen free. towel? I think my yes. salad is ready. Okay. Thank you. So I'm just going to, I'm going to wipe my bowl because this is where I will serve my salad. And that's a good thing. You know, mm. when you make salads, make it in the bowl that you're going to serve it in so that you don't have a lot of dishes and yeah, prepping. Yeah. All that can be so annoying. Yeah. Especially when you want something quick and easy. And that's it. <laughs> on salads they have the best um, raw ingredients mm -hmm. yeah and nutrients for our bodies so for my salad I have um, cucumber as well so I'm just gonna put it in I have peppers this is really good um, many people think you can't eat peppers raw but they're they're actually sweet when they're raw people think that maybe they're not too sweet but they are sweet it adds color I mean, yeah and it adds really color bright. yeah and remember, we keep saying we are eating with our eyes. So there's red and yellow. You can put it green if you want, but you have to make sure it's the sweet green ones. Yeah. And then we're going to have a little twist. We're going to add some pineapple. Mm. Um, I think there's pineapples all over lately. Yes. Yeah. So get some sweet, nice pineapples. Yeah. To just add some depth and also yeah. sweetness to your salad. Yeah. And then some lettuce. Um, I'll just put in a bit at a time just to see. And then I'll just mix it up first. And one ingredient that really goes well with pineapples is mint. Is mint, yeah. So you can easily add mint to yeah. this. Just some yeah. small diced, nice um, pieces mint of leaves mint. Yeah. Will again lift up because mint and pineapple is again such a good combination. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do. Uh, maybe I should just add a little bit more lettuce. Mm -hmm. And why did you pick this lettuce, Sharon? There are many different types of lettuce. Why do you like this? <sighs> because first, this one doesn't wilt mm -hmm. um, as easily as the other one. I think the other, I can't remember what the other one is called. Uh, iceberg. Iceberg. Yes, iceberg. Yes, iceberg. This one is, I think, romaine. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't wilt as much. I find the leaves also look very nice, and they t it actually tastes better. Mm -hmm. And some people think just because it looks a little nicer than the iceberg, it's more expensive, but they're actually the same price. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So it's really that's why. Very good. Yeah. So usually what we would put in is just lemon and salt, and you and can put yeah, yeah. You can put in um, cayenne pepper if you want some mm -hmm. little pepper. Some heat to it. Yeah, some heat. You can put in honey. You can put in mustard. Mm -hmm. Just play around with your dressings. And make them fun and different. Yeah. Because you don't want them to be bored. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just some lemon, and I put in some salt. And that's it. That's what you're mixing. Yeah. How do you get your son to eat vegetables, Charlie? Uh, what does he like in his salad? Olives. 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 <laughs> Any color of olives, he's just on that. Olives and sweet corn, which means you can also put in some sweet corn exactly. here. And pineapples. Really, he would just pick out everything. Um, also, how I get him to eat salads, we eat them. Together. So he, Yeah, we eat them together. We eat as a family. Um, and then he just, 
at first he'd pick up from our plates, but then now he just has his own and he enjoys it. Yeah, so see what the kids like and yeah. you can add that onto your yeah. salads as we... Sharon Sun likes olives. Yeah. Do that in as long yeah. as you're getting them to eat. Yeah, to eat not raw. forcing them to eat something that yeah. doesn't taste or look nice. Also for children, um, I know Diana likes cutting all her salad ingredients into the same shape. Now, because um, I don't, I, I realized that my son enjoys eating them when they're in different shapes. Mm -hmm. So I will cut the lettuce in uh, just strips. the way in strips. I'd cut the cucumber in uh, circles. Mm -hmm. So he's just enjoying eating. So you can try that with your children with fruits and with vegetables. If you can cut them into different shapes and sizes, then it makes it more interesting to eat. And also, um, children may not enjoy this because it has no sweetener. Well, this actually just does have because of the, oh, of the, the pineapple. pineapple. Yes, yeah. But if you find it's a salad that doesn't have pineapple or any other fruit, maybe like an orange or an apple, you can put in some honey. That way then it has a bit of sweetness and they may just enjoy with every bite. You could make a dressing with orange juice. Yes, with orange with juice. With orange juice. Yeah. That would be really yeah. good. Yeah. So that's and, it. And we're done. Yeah. So would you do a taste test? Mm-hmm. Let me serve. So you can taste mine, I'll taste yours. No problem. Let me serve you on this side. We can share the plate, right? Sure. Yeah. Let me put some on that side. Okay. Look at that. I know, right? <laughs> it's really good. Okay, bon appétit. Yeah, let's do this. I know you wish like you were here with us. Yeah. I'm trying to have a small bite, but the spoon won't let me. The pineapple does something, guys. <laughs> mm. Pineapple is really good. I'm just have another one. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. I could eat this all day, but of course I will have starch at some point. Yeah. Mm. So you can have and a look. Yeah. Maybe I can taste my own as well. Just yeah. see the difference. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, this is fresh. This is creamy. Mm. Right? This is crunchy. Yeah. I know. What I made is crunchy and then this one is creamy. And the texture is just, you know, the different textures also just give a different life to the salad. So you can actually even have them together. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks okay. guys. So that's all we have for now. And that um, was fun. We shall see you another time. Bye bye. Enjoy. Bye. We should eat again, right? Yeah, this is really good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. this one. That's really good. Oh. And yummy. I don't know why I don't need this more often. It's a messy drink. It's a merogwa. Tumerogwa na mchele na ugali. Na ugali.